polynomials. Find k so that x square plus 2x plus k is a factor of 2x raised to 4 plus x cubed minus 14x square plus 5x plus 6. Also find all zeros of the two polynomials. Okay, let us start. So we have to find the value of k such that x square plus 2x plus k is a factor of the given polynomial that is 2x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 14x square plus 5x plus 6. Also we have to find all the zeros of the two polynomial. In the first step we will find the value of k and then we will move to find the zeros of the two polynomial. Okay. So it is given that x square plus 2 x plus k is a factor of the given polynomial. Then we will get the remainder 0 on division that is 2x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 14 x square plus 5 x plus 6 divided by x square plus 2 x plus k will give a remainder 0. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are first dividing the polynomial by the factor and we will find the remainder and the remainder will include a term k and by equating it to 0 we will find the value of k. This is our method. So we are going to do division by the log division method. Okay. So uh, in order to perform long division method, we need a term that is to get this coefficient of x raised to 4, 0. That is, x square into 2x square will give 2x raised to 4. It will give us 0. So, we are taking 2x square as our first portion. Then, the first term of the portion then 2x square into x square will give 2x raised to 4. 2x square into 2x will give 4x cube. 2x square into k will give 2k x square. Okay. In the next step, we will subtract each term. Then we will get 0 minus 3x cube minus 14 minus 2k x square. So we will take the negative to the outside and plus 5x. So we take 5x for the next step. Then we have to get minus 3x cube. What is the term we have to use to get minus 3x cube? It is minus 3x. Minus 3x into x square will give minus 3x cube. Then minus 3x into 2x will give minus 6x square minus 3x into k will give minus 3kx. Now by subtracting we will get 0. 14 plus 2k minus 6 will give 14 minus of minus 6 will give plus 6 that is minus 14 plus 6 will give minus 8. 2k is Minus 0 will give minus 2k itself. Minus 2k minus 0 will give minus 2k itself. Now, since the both terms contain negative, we will take that negative outside. Then we will get 8 plus 2k into x square. 5 minus 3k x will give 5 minus of minus 3k. We will get 5 plus 3k into x. Then, we are taking minus 6. Next, we have to get minus 8 plus 2k x square. So, in order to get that term, we are taking minus 8 plus 2k. And now, by multiplying, we will get minus 8 plus 2k x square. Minus 8 plus 2k into 2x will give minus 16x minus 4k x. That is 2x into 2k, 4k x minus minus 8 into k, minus 8k, minus 2k into k, minus 2k square. 
Now by subtracting we will get 0. 15 minus 16 will give 21. 3 minus of minus 4 will give 7kx. Minus 6 minus 8 will give minus 6 plus 8. Minus 2k minus of minus 2k will give plus 2k square. So this is our reminder. In the next step, we will put this reminder or equate this reminder to 0 in order to find the value of k. Okay. So we have <coughs> from the previous division. The quotient equal to 2x square minus 3x minus 8 plus 2k and the remainder equal to 21 plus 7k into x plus minus 6 plus 8 plus 2k square. Okay. So, next we are going to equate the remainder as 0. Then this term will equal will be equal to 0x plus 0. Now particularly the co 21 plus 7k is equal to 0 implies k equal to minus 21 by 7 equal to minus 3. So we get the value of k. Now on substitution Tuting, we will get x square plus 2x plus k equal to x square plus 2x minus 3. Next, that is 2x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 14x square plus 5x plus 6 will give divided by x square plus 2x plus k that is x square plus 2x minus 3 will give the quotient 2x square minus 3x minus 8 plus 2k. What is 8 plus 2k? 8 plus 2 into mi minus 3 which is 8 minus 6 which is 2 that is negative 2. So <clears throat> we get the quotient 2x square minus 3x minus 2 on dividing the given polynomial by x square plus 2x minus 3. Next, our next we are going to find the zeros of the two polynomials that is this polynomial and this polynomial and we are done with our problem after finding the zeros. Okay, at first we are just rewriting it that is multiplying it to here that is 2x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 14x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 2x square minus 3x minus 2 into x square plus 2x minus 3. So this is our factorized form of our polynomial. In order to get 0, we will put the value of the polynomial equal to 0. Okay, now we have to find zeros of the uh, given two polynomials. So, for that, put this polynomial equal to 0, then, which implies 2x square minus 3x minus 2 into x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0, which implies Either 2x square 3, which implies 2x square minus 3x minus 2 into x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0, which implies either 2x square minus 3x minus 2 equal to 0 or x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now, if you put 2x square minus 3x minus 2 equal to 0 and then we will find the values of x. So in order to find zeros, we are using the splitting the middle term method. That is we have to find two numbers with the sum negative 3 and product negative 4. How? That is 
Thumb is negative 3 and product is 2 into negative 2, negative 4. We have to find two numbers with this property that is sum negative 3, product negative 4 in order to use splitting the middle term method to find the value of this polynomial or this quadratic equation. Okay. So, which are those numbers with sum negative 3 and product negative 4? It is negative 1 and Sorry, negative 4 and 1. That is negative 4 into 1, negative 4, negative 4 plus 1, negative 3. The numbers are 1 and negative 4. So we are going to split the middle term. That is minus 3x is split as x square, sorry, x minus 4x. That is we are splitting the middle term as x minus 4x. Then x minus 4x will give minus 3x. Next we have to factorize it. Here we have x as a common factor. Then we will take x outside. Then we will get 2x plus 1. Here also that is minus 4x minus 2. 2 is a common factor. Then we will take minus 2. Now 2 minus 2 a common factor. Minus 2 to the outside. We will get minus 2 into 2x plus 1. Now we have 2x plus 1 as a common factor. Then we will get take 2x plus 1 to the outside. Then what we will get 2x plus 1. Here what will remain x. Here minus 2. 2x plus 1 into x minus 2 equal to 0. So this term is factorized as 2x plus 1 into x minus 2 equals to 0. Next, which implies either 2x, 2x plus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 2 equal to 0. 2x plus 1 equal to 0 implies x equal to minus 1 by 2 and x minus 2 equal to 0 implies x equal to 2. So, we get zeros of our polynomial that is x equal to minus 1 by 2, x equal to 2. Next, we have to find zeros of x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So, for that it is symbol by factorization method. So, we have to find two numbers with the sum 2 and product negative 3 or for doing simple factorization that numbers are negative 1 and 3 that is x minus 1 into x plus 3 equal to 0. Then what we will get which implies either x equal to 1 x minus 1 equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0 implies x equal to 1 or x equal to negative 3. So, we get zeros of this polynomial also. In our question, we have to find the zeros of x square plus 2x plus k. So, we get the zeros of that polynomial and that are x equal to minus 3 or x equal to 1. Hence, the zeros of the polynomial are x equal to minus 3 and 1, this polynomial. Next, we get Four zeros that is for polynomial 2x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 14x square plus 5x plus 6. Four zeros are available here and they are n zeros of the polynomial are x equal to minus 1 by 2, 2 minus 3, 1. So, we are done with our question. What we have done? We have just factorized this polynomial into 2 and by putting the first factor equal to 0, we get this 2 0 that is x equal to minus 1 by 2 and x equal to 2 and now by putting the second factor equal to 0, we get x equal to minus 3 and x equal to 1 as the second 0. So, we get all the zeros of the given polynomial.